Ladies and Neighbors, this is Super Zomaka Barbecue, and today we are back with WWE Champions again. We are back number four. I don't even think we get past number one, but I'm enjoying it so much. It is just one of those games I can just keep coming back to and back to and back to. I don't have to put all my time into it. You know what? I'm actually happy to be doing this series, but obviously, guys, I need to know if you want this to be something that I continue for the future. So, if you like what you see in this episode, obviously watch it first, but hit a huge like on this video. If you can do it just as many times as you possibly can, you know what? Can we super kick party the like button? If we can kick this with as many feet as possible, just, you know, just do five super kicks on the like button, if you don't mind. Just as many as you can, as hard as you can, that would be absolutely incredible, and thank you so, so much for all your support so far. We are genuinely making this an amazing series, but we're going to get right into it before we do that. Remember to subscribe as well, but we've got so much stuff to open. We've got literal shit tons, and the first thing you'll probably notice is, yes, I have joined a faction. I have got myself a faction, and it is actually a faction for YouTube subscribers and Twitch subscribers. So if you want to join my faction, all you got to do is be subscribed on Twitch. And it's instant access, baby. And I will leave details in the description below and the comment section. You don't have to do it. And you can still watch the videos and, you know, potentially actually get in through giveaways. We'll do giveaways on Twitch and through YouTube comment sections throughout the time you play WWE Champions. But yes, I'm in a faction. I'm in the melts. If you have, have watched my WWE Supercard stuff, then you will notice that I, I, we've got names the same. I've got 53 or 55 members, and we're consistently growing. The faction is getting bigger. We are potentially going to be as big as the NWO or the Bullet Club at some point, because yeah, they both had crazy amounts of members anyway. First thing I want to get is Vince's bag. I've got some missions completed. I've got to get a couple of other things sorted out. But this is my mission bag that I'm going to be able to get. Some rewards from me. Get this for completing daily rewards and whatnot. And I'm going to get myself a couple of things. You might get yourself a couple of things like victory loot or rare historic uh, tokens as well. As well as some crazy ass coins as well. So I'm going to open this. There's two items in here. We're going to get, first of all, some training points. Very, very useful. And a thousand coins. Not the best one in the world, but you get the gist of how good that, how good they are. Uh, and we also have some credits at the top there we might spend later on as well. We've also got to go through a couple of loot boxes, which we've got as well. As well as the Versus Awards, which I'm going to come to later on as well. And this Elimination Chamber t-shirts, which are really useful. But let's just get these over and done with. We're going to get some backer gift bags. These are the things you get if you're in a faction with people. And as you level up, as um, other people in your faction buy things... Uh, so using either in-game credits or alternatively using their own money uh, or stuff that they've, they've earned through the game cash, etc. Then you can actually use all of these bags you get to give you additional items. As you see, I'm just getting free coins and some additional free bit, uh, bits and pieces and props in the middle of for use in the matches. Two here, a thousand coins. I've already made myself need three thousand coins and some training points as well. Just for doing nothing but being inside a faction. Which is incredible and you get the sparkly bags as well which i'll show you what those are those are around like special bags you get for doing certain things within the, the faction so let me know if you found yourself a faction and if you want to join the zadivas through the melts team let me know in the comments section below i'm gonna get in trouble if i call it the zadivas because technically it is the melts and yeah there is the melts not technically but yeah Always the, the owner of the team will get mad at me. Benefactor gift bag so this is the benefactor gift bag you get more additional things from this uh, and we're going to show you here. First of all, we're going to get ourselves some Gauntlet Blitz tickets. Now, people have been telling me that these are really, really good to have, these Benefactor gift bags. And those Gauntlet Blitz uh, tokens, 30,000 coins. What? Just, wow. I'm assuming these come from purchases and stuff, like 10,000 coins. 40,000 coins just from being a Benefactor. And I've got so many of these bags, over 10,000 coins. I have 125 Gauntlet Blitz tickets. Gauntlet Blitz apparently is like events. So, you know, you might pay events in mobile games. 20,000 coins just there. But I just, I'm just piling up the money right now. This is crazy. Uh, Gauntlet Blitz are like events. Apparently, you can play them and they do them every so often. And they announce them in advance. It's definitely worth keeping your eye out for those. Let's open uh, these uh, scarce... This is like a historic token bag. I've got this as my versus rewards. We're going to play some versus... Not now, but in our next episode, and I'm going to show you during this episode how you can get free 
packs. Yes, I'm not lying to you. You can get free packs and you might just get yourself a triple star mega superstar. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. We've got some scarce uh, rewards to open up now. Got uh, one of Chris Jericho's lists. And at the higher up you place in uh, Versus, you get yourself some more sweet rewards. You got yourself the boss. Uh, I'm guessing that's like the, 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 the fist thing that you can get. And then we got the uh, the next couple ones, which are the Neville's Comet. And then we've got one more, which is going to be, when we see it, it's going to be the boss can bring a girl. So I also got these as well, which are the little faction tokens you can use to help out people. And those get bigger and better over time. And that can allow you to, for example, if you lose a superstar because of bad health, uh, for it, so you've got very, very low health on a superstar and you lose it during the battle, you can use your faction to actually request people to revive you. And, as, and basically the entire team can then revive your superstar instead of you having to spend money. All these things are amazing and free of charge, which is just crazy. But uh, we're going to get these loot crates. I've got a couple here I want to go through. And then we're going to talk about those free packs as well. We've got this uh, this new John Cena, which uh, you, you can only do the new challenge with John Cena if you've got... I think it's one of the, like, the secondary missions with John Cena. Let's get these free loot boxes now, though. Get those out of the way. Let's see what we get out of it. I'm sure it's just going to be some health packs. I might get some cards out of it. No cards, but we're going to get ourselves 800 coins, uh, free health packs, and 500 coins as well. Let's talk about these free packs. So, if I go into here, I can open up a normal pack right now. But look at the little note at the top. And this is where I want to talk about free packs. If you play WWE Champions this weekend during the Elimination Chamber event they've got on, you can get yourself 400 Elimination Chamber t-shirts. And I got these just from playing. No purchase required. Just playing the game, playing versus mode, you'll get yourself these Elimination Chamber t-shirts. You get 400, you get yourself a really, really awesome reward. And to go into versus to show you how to get these, first of all, the easiest way of getting these is going into uh, the limited tours. And I'll show you here. I've got a limited tour over here, which I'm going to continue. I've got okay, a couple of more uh, done over here. And you get these just by playing. But you'll see here, uh, I believe it's the final mission. You get some t-shirts on, 20 t-shirts. Uh, but you can also uh, use the hard mode as well if you've got a good enough deck, if you've been playing the game for a while. Uh, and I believe that the t-shirts get more and more as, as you go on. And I believe this is something they're going to continue to do in the future. You also go to Versus, and Versus is where you really pick up the rewards. Go to View All, and you'll see here, as you go through and up the ranks, you get more and more t-shirts, 45, uh, 60. And you collect all these rewards as you grind up. So you're going to be able to get yourself some sweet-ass packs, and it stops at 150. I don't know if that's where it actually stops, but you guys can let me know if you have got yourself higher than that before then you get yourself some super rewards and actually might get yourself a pack and might get yourself a triple star bronze card and that's how i got those tokens which you can use to evolve and talking about evolution enhancement let's go to my roster i've got a very special card that i want to evolve right now and that is dean ambrose i want to evolve the original dean ambrose from nxt and this will take him to a double bronze star I'm going to show you this right now. Here we go. <sighs> I'm liking this. So I've evolved them using all of those consumable tokens. Now this is to explain something. People have been asking me, what do the hollow stars mean? The hollow stars mean that you've built up a character from scratch and you've not bought them. Yes, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. If you buy packs using in-game currency or in-game built-up currency, you will get characters that are better. And I don't believe that, and I think there's no way of getting a full star uh, superstar. But there's people with like three gold star superstars that they've literally taken from the beginning all the way to the end. And they've got the highest level superstar they can. But the purchased ones are going to be bigger and better. So if you get yourself a free bronze star, that will become a free triple gold star afterwards. So uh, once you've finished with it. So... The hollow star means it's been evolved, enhanced over time. Apparently fused cards as well are even better, which is awesome. And I, I when I heard about that, I was like, are you kidding me right now? That's So it, basically, if you purchase packs, not by your own money. You don't have to use money. You can build up over time just by getting rewards and whatnot. Um, you can then use those to buy packs. You get lucky, then you can actually get yourself a pretty sweet ass card and level it up and fuse that card and you can even fuse cards by just playing the normal campaign mode which is great and i'm just leveling up this uh this dean ambrose i want to talk about a really amazing pack i got 
I opened one pack, got myself a Bubba Ray Diddly Dudley, and uh, that is going to make me very, very, very happy because that is going to mean that I can then use this double Silver Star Superstar. He becomes my third best Superstar in my roster. Remember with those Elimination Chamber t-shirts, you get yourself free packs as well, and I'm definitely going to be doing that. But we're going to play ourselves, talking about the Elimination Chamber, some Elimination Chamber matches right now. We're going to get ourselves all the way through. We're going to start off with Dolph Ziggler. I'm going to take out uh, Diddy Dudley and put in uh, my Jerry King Lawler. If you haven't seen me pack this card yet, a great reaction. Go check it out. As well as The Undertaker as well for my massive pack opening. You have to go and check those out. Both those two packs, my best pack so far. Other than obviously the Bubba Ray Dudley, which I did earlier on. Now, I should probably squash... Delph Ziggler in this match. No, I'm going to just use the, the, the top gems. Yeah, it's not going to give me the best overall outcome, but as long as I can get some finishes before him, I should be okay. Uh, I also found out a couple of little tricks and whatnot. You'll probably see me use them, but this one here, which is clear as the, almost the entire board, is a great way of doing like loads and loads of damage. Uh, this guy's literally almost completely gone, um, although he is going to do a corner splash. Is he going to roll me up into a pin? Trying to be cheeky. No, he's taking out an entire row as well. Hopefully, he doesn't use any other moves. I'm going to see if I can hit him with a free strike move. And this is something that someone taught me in the comment section where you, you, you charge up all of your finishes, use them all at the same time, and you take people out a lot easier. So we'll do a body slam first, which should take him down to no health at all. Um, and I'm also again going to use uh, the running drop kick. And then maybe, just maybe, this will give me enough purple gems. If not, then I've got a very good chance. In fact, you know what? I think I've got the best chance here. Yeah. You can activate your finisher automatically if you get that little bar you can see here. Uh, all the way down to the other person's side. You can actually activate your finisher by having it. We get full loot crates in that one because Jerry the King Lord absolutely smashed him. We go after, go after Randy Orton. I'll do the side mission in my own time. Let me know what superstars you've got if you've got yourself anywhere along the road. If you're really experienced in this game, where are you at up to now? I hear about an AJ Styles card apparently you can get, which I, I want that card. I want that card so freaking bad. But someone told me a Goldberg card was in this game. I freaked out like... No one's business. Get over here. Uh, so we get five. Wow. I think we actually might win this straight away. And as he gets crazy amounts of gems. Oh, wow. One move wonder. Jerry King Lawler just obliterated Randy Orton. Uh, also, let me know what your, your predictions are for the Elimination Chamber on Sunday. I've got a feeling that it's going to be Bray Wyatt who walks out. And I don't actually have the Miz. Do I have the Miz? I do have the Miz, but he's not very good level. So I really have no other choice but to actually level them up with my coins. Uh, so let's, let's level up some of his moves. I've got, oh, you know, I can actually probably level them up to the max. Let's give it a go. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. And you know what? I'm just going to max out his... his just going to do the, the entire amount of coins to get him up. Does this mean I can actually evolve him? I can't know because I've not got enough of the jackets although i can use one of the daily challenges to get that so i might go back and get those in a second but no i can't use this and is it worth getting a pack to see if i can get them no no it's not worth it it's not worth it we've got the jacket we've got the real the gold dust real but we don't have the mobile phone or the rick, rick flair jacket so i'm gonna have to go and get those that should be enough to survive the wyatt family i hope we can get those 20 uh, elimination chamber t-shirts with this one, just a tip from me, just do as many moves as possible. Try to, if you can, get as many finishes up as possible to do as much damage as possible. Try not to pin them because they're likely to kick out. Uh, let's see here. We can use... Let's, let's use this. We can see he's already on the offense. So I've got to be really careful here because I could easily lose. And I don't want to spend any credits to come out to get in, you know, to actually win this. Uh, he's going to use that blue. I really shouldn't have done that. That's a silly move. Really silly move. I just lost so much health doing that. Right, I'm going to use the neckbreaker to do a bit of damage to him. He's got way, way, way got the advantage on me. I'm going to use the purples. Might be a bad move. Might be a bad move. He might get my finisher up a little bit. He's not got a finisher up yet, so we're okay at the moment, but we're not far away from being in a heap of trouble. I just need one more move to be able to get a tag 
I've got to try and find a gem for a submission gem. I'm going to put the gem over here in a bomb right corner. And what this does, you always want to put it in the hardest possible area for the computer to get to. So it's as hard as possible for him to get out of the submission, which means you make more and more damage for his character. But he just broke it just by doing that then. And this is not good. I need to tag in. Can I? I can't tag anyone in. Let's use this. It's not going to help my stats at all. But it'll give me a little bit, but I can't tag him in. He's going to go for the stunner, and that's going to do a lot of freaking damage to me, which means I need to get out of this predicament really quickly. Good. Okay, so now I can get out. I can put tag in Jerry the King Lauder, and I can go to town on these punks. We're going to do this right now. We've got double gem elimination there, and I've got a finisher, which I think I'll probably be able to take out Luke Harper pretty quickly. Although he's going to give me the big boot. That hurts. That's going to take a lot of hope. No, I didn't realize. They wouldn't take much HP off me at all. We're going to make the guy learn the lesson. You know what? We're going to, we're going to use the Royal Fist. We're going to use the Royal Fist to do as much damage as possible. And then we're going to hopefully use the other finishes when we can. Although, I don't think he's kicking out of this. Yeah, he's not kicking out of this. So, yeah, we won. Very surprisingly. But we did get ourselves a skipping rope. That, that will help. Okay, but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Not quite at the level. In fact, you know what? Just to get us to level 9 on this video, so we can do this for this upload. I'm not going to go for the 3 stars. I'll do that off cam. So let's have this match with Kalisto. Let's take him out. So let's use the red gems. Nice punch to the face there. Come on. Then you hit me. I'll still They'll stick that up your ass if you ain't careful. Right, uh, that's what can we do here? We've got another set of reds, so we're going to go for the finisher pretty quickly with this one, it seems. Uh, damn, he's taken out an entire row, but he's now going to use his two times, which is a samurai kick. But I am very, very close to getting myself three finishes at once. Let's go after the cyborg slam. Let's take him down. We're going to get the win. It's, it's not even a question of if, it's a question of when at this point. We're not going to get ourselves all three of the crates. It's just impossible. Uh, but we are going to get ourselves at least a decent win. And we'll get ourselves up to level 9. We can now work our way through level 9. 3,000 XP to get to the next level. I don't know if, is, is there, if anyone who's gone that far, is there any level requirements? Or does it stop you if you're not a certain level? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from me. Remember to hit a like on this button if you like what you see. If you got yourself any of those free packs as well. If you're playing versus mode. The Road to the Chamber. The Elimination Chamber event. What do you think of the events? What do you think of the series? And don't forget to subscribe using the link that's going to pop up just down here in a momente. And that's it from me. Remember to hit the description as well for details. So Twitch, Twitter, Instagram and also Facebook. And don't forget to check out all my other content which is going to pop up just round the side and to the bottom to... Uh, Check out some of the other content I do. And that's it from me. But one last thing before we go, and that is to...